Hello and welcome to Video Game Retrospective. I'm your host, Jacob, and today we're going to look at the top five best Atari consoles in our video game collection. Now, we don't own every single Atari console. Unfortunately, we don't have a Jaguar or a Lynx yet, so don't be surprised they're not here. Before we get into it, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Atari console is. Number five. The Atari 7800. So in our full video on the Atari 7800, uh, my opinion on it was mixed. I think the 7800 could have been something special, but it was too little too late. It really didn't offer much more than other consoles available at the time, and in some ways it was a significant step backwards from other systems. Notably, its sound quality isn't super great. However, a really good 7800 game is super impressive for the time, but many 7800 games are just okay. I think the 7800 sits perfectly here in the number five spot. It's great, just not as good as some of the other devices on this list. Number four, the Atari 5200. All right, so that might be a little sacrilegious putting this above the 7800, but the 5200 had a lot going for it. It's just a shame it's got some really, really, really notable flaws. Most notably, the controller. The thing that really puts it over the top is just how good the games are on the 5200, at least for the time. Pretty much every port to the 5200 is an excellent arcade quality port. Really, the 5200 library is fantastic. It's just a shame that most people didn't get to play many 5200 games because the console itself was quite expensive, the games were quite expensive, and after a while your controllers would just break. But when the 5200 is good, it's good. And you can tell I'm a fan of this console since we've covered it twice now, and both times I've heaped praise on it. That said, it is quite the shame that the Atari 5200 is not compatible with Atari 8-bit computer games. That's a big missed opportunity. Number three, the Atari 2600 Junior. So the Atari 2600 Junior is really weird. It's an update to the 2600, giving it the aesthetics of a 7800 while being really tiny. This system was released in a couple different packages and you had different controllers that shipped with it. Some models shipped with a standard 7800 style controller. Others shipped with a 2600 style controller that was wireless. Now we have the model that came with a 7800 style controller, uh, which is probably a good thing because I really don't feel like pressing left and then having the system react to it six years later. But overall, the 2600 Junior was a pretty fantastic way to get into 2600 gaming towards the end of the system's life for a very, very good budget price. We haven't done a full video on the Junior yet, but expect that in the future. Number two, the 2600. And from the Junior to the more standard 2600. Now this is not an original six switcher Atari VCS. This is the first model actually named the 2600, which keeps the original's aesthetics, but is slightly smaller and uses a more black plasticky design. I think the 2600 is an excellent console with a fantastic library for its time. There are millions of people out there who got their start with video games with a device just like this. The 2600 had the games, it had the price, and it was really, really, really fantastic. I'm sure no one would argue that the 2600 isn't important, even if some of the games haven't aged the best. Number one, the XEGS. All right, so this is a maybe a biased pick. Some people don't like the XEGS. It was released at an awkward time for Atari when they were trying to compete with the dominance of Nintendo's entertainment system. The XEGS was designed to be both a console and a computer based on Atari's existing 8-bit computer platform. This was really what the Atari 5200 should have been, a simple video game console with great games that could be expanded into a full computer. 
The system had everything going for it, including a very unique design, but it kind of went under the radar since Atari's reputation was not exactly great at the time. And many consumers were confused by the idea of a console slash computer. Ultimately, it failed in its goal of beating Nintendo, but it is a really fantastic system and one I'd highly recommend you pick up if you've never used one. I mean, it has Easter egg buttons. What's not to love? All right, so those are our top five Atari systems in our collection. What Atari system is your favorite? Which one should we add to our collection? I'd love to hear your thoughts on these systems in the comments down below. Also, if you'd like to talk about anything else video game related, make sure to join our Discord server. And if you'd like to keep this show running, you can check out our Patreon. And I'll see you next time.